Good afternoon, lovely people. We have almost arrived in um, Saltfjelle. We have come here to pick up a little bit of a craft food um, that would be probably dry food for Esme. We were a little bit low, so we didn't want uh, really to risk it because our friends are going to be very, very busy. They're reindeer herders, so they're going to be a lot busy on the mountains with all the reindeer giving birth. So we didn't want to risk to run too low. So um, we just thought to just to attach the caravan to the car and just take this day. Lately, I have been thinking how much um, um, tired I get uh, at the end uh, of the day. And um, I also thought about how important that is, uh, you know, to get uh, to have that sense of um, tiredness, you know, uh, at the end of the day. Mm, like, uh, we have done so much, uh, so much uh, for uh, the reindeer, so much for us, um, for our lives, uh, for our channel, and uh, makes you feel uh, fulfilled, uh, if that is uh, the right word, if you would like. And uh, it's wonderful, it's when you feel uh, at peace, uh, you know, with uh, everything that you are, uh, kind of nicely resonates with everything that you do. There is a good tired and a bad tired. The bad tired can come from living the life, days, struggles of everyone else but you, from not fulfilling your purpose. This kind of tired feeds on disappointment and makes you feel stuck in the world of should. There is no way out and that is just the way things are. The bed tired truly hates when you go to bed and it is the one that makes you toss and turn and the morning after he has won his battle and you will feel totally unrested. The good tired comes from offering presents to your life, days, visions and struggles. This tired loves when you go to bed and get the deserved rest. It is a type of tired that makes you flow into sleep effortlessly. This good tired has really nothing to do with the success. It has to do with loving what we do with abandon, from living a life where we can use our gifts and talents. It comes from walking the talk with extreme clarity of vision. Often, when I end up saying I'm tired, the following moment I always try to ask myself, is it a good tired or a bad tired? I hope that whatever we do, we can all be good tired, as this world needs you and what you have to share. Yes, you who are watching and listening to this. Gets a GPS. Yay! Mission accomplished. Food for us, man. We have gotten that. Mm. We're heading back home. Mm. That's nice. 17 degrees today. But uh, first, I think a little stop at the uh, second hand market that is here in Saltdal Commune. It's not far from our friends, really, really not far at all. And I love it because it's quite big and it's uh, absolutely full of soul. So it's um, a stop that it's uh, very, very important for us every time we come here. So yeah, also for supporting it.
The weather has been very moody in the past week. We have had severe rainfalls mixed with hail. We take weather very seriously up here and we call it He. This is most certainly because he is amazingly entertaining and varied. When he is moody, we practice something we call Hygge. To me, Hygge is an aspect of my witchcraft practice. It is the sorcery of the comfort of the soul. It is the sorcery of peace and coziness, aiming and making us feel safe and all warm in the heart when the weather outside is gruesome. We have practiced Hige quite a lot in the past weeks because of the weather. During one of our Hige ritual, we have sacrificed loads of sugar, butter and cinnamon to Frigg for the making of something we call Canel Bolle. Hige is that uh, flickering candle light that accompanies as we enjoy the good things in life. I would highly recommend this practice to everyone, it's highly beneficial, it gives an opportunity to make the best of what we have available and practice gratitude for the good and the simple. two weeks. This has uh, really, really made um, uh, our job as videographers a lot complex because with other type of weather conditions like uh, wind, uh, snow, uh, it's fine. You can find a way to, to film, uh, you know, but with the rain, it's been um, very, 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 very difficult for us. So yeah, we are having it uh, cozy inside and today we had to come out because uh, uh, a part of the fence uh, is really um, the top part of the fence with all this, these rainfalls has turned into a sort of mud hole and uh, we have been struggling a lot with that and uh, we came to pick up some mica schist so that we can uh, put it on top of the soil, you know, to make it easier for us and easier for Esme to to walk but um, very very complex weather condition self-made or never made is most certainly the foundation of how I experience my life and craft where rock bottom translates in solid foundation where preservation is a tool for perpetuity of wisdom where I am my own experiment, my own spells of failures, uh, triumphs, flaws and miracles, bumps and bruises in a cauldron called life that is simply spectacular and worth uh, all the efforts. Uh, 